everybody. Welcome back to more videos on how to do vintage hair. Um, I'm using a three-quarter curling iron today and to show you how to do some cute little uh, curls for a fast-to-go look with your Betty Bangs and with long hair. So I am basically using the Hot Pro Tools curling iron three-quarter and I'm going in one-inch sections. I've sprayed it with a ion hairspray that is for before and after styling and it's also humidity resistant. I am basically doing ringlets and then taking a double edge clip and clipping it as I roll it up. And you don't have to be too uh, strict on how you roll it up. You just basically want to roll it up so the heat molds it and it sits for a couple of minutes. You don't even have to leave it in very long. Everybody's hair is different and also what kind of styling solution you may have put in beforehand. Um, but this is just a video to show you how to do these curls. And as you can see, I'm just kind of quickly going through them and doing them. So I just like to make sure they're a nice ringlet and then I roll them up. I try to roll them in one direction going out. It just depends which way you want your hair to flick. So I roll my curls going out. Um, and I'm just going to go and do the other side. I usually split my hair in half. And I do one side and then I do the other side. And I find that really fast. And then I like to make sure the curling iron's warm. So I may just touch it. And if I miss any loose pieces, I go back and I just grab them. It's no stress. It's not a big uh, deal because it all blends in at the end. And we're just doing more ringlets, as you can see, and taking that double edge clip and just kind of clipping on. And if it's not holding it, you can use two clips. It's no big deal. It's, it's basically just to kind of create a staggered pattern. And I like to just kind of comb through the hair sometimes and then add a little more spray and then roll up. And if you notice, I'm rolling out and I'm clipping out too. So I'm rolling the curl. Uh, away from me and I'm curling away from me. So it makes a difference in how your curl looks in case you wanted to know. So I would play with that um, depending on how your hair is cut and what look you want. And we're on our final section. And I've just been coming up with different styles to do with the Betty Bangs. This is something that I love to do. I did it with a one inch curling iron um, in another video and I wanted to try the three quarter because I love the tiny curls and I wanted to see how tight they would hold. Some people brush this right out and you'll have bit, like little waves. Um, I leave the curls. I like it. I run my fingers through it and we'll see more of that in a second. And there you go. See, you can see I've missed a few pieces. So I just go back in. The curling iron's hot and I just make little spiral curls. Give it a few minutes. If you have the right spray and styling solution, it really helps hold the curl, but the heat molds it. So just pinning it like that for a few minutes. And I'm just taking a little brush and, and kind of going through it, but I like to use my hands or a wide tube tooth comb. Um, I find that's better and you can see I've got that comb. All the products I got are from Sally, so they're easy to get. They're not super expensive. And you can see the volume and the curl in that. And I don't try to create perfect curls and I don't try to brush them all out because my hair is so long it'll just fall. So I add a little more spray, smooth them out best I can. And because I pulled the curl out when I was doing the ringlet, I don't get as much frizz on the top of the hair. So that's really important because if you have bitty bangs or long hair and you try to do curls or waves, the frizz is what makes it kind of look unfinished. And you can just see all those curls, how tight the three quarter is compared to the one inch. And if you haven't seen the one inch video, check that out. Um, it's a different looking curl, but it's just as nice and that's gonna fall a little bit But you're pretty much gonna have that much volume and curl and then if you have shorter hair um, This will work as well the same technique It'll just be even more popped up and then I'm using the pomade just to smooth down some of the frizzies and just give it a finished look a little shine And it turned out quite good so I like doing these styles and doing variations on the uh, vintage look. So I hope you like it too. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And here's a little finished look. I tried to show you the back a little bit um, and just kind of give you an idea of what it would look like with a proper shirt and just, you know, just fun. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and it's useful. Bye-bye.